What is your opinion on a 30-year-old dating a 19-year-old? I thought it was okay when I was in my 20s but now that I'm on my 30s it's a big no-no. I would not. But if a close friend did, I'd advise caution. Power balances and how well they relate to each other could be issues. I wouldn't, but to each his own. This was me. I, 18 meters, met her, 30 f, when I was moving into the apt she was moving out of. I was going to school and she, into assisted housing. We were together about a year, and were talking about marriage when my parents asked me to come home, alone one weekend. Stepping away helped me to see all of the possibilities. A fiery breakup ensued. Looking back, the age separation was one of the smaller issues. This was when I learned to walk away. She was done having her adventures. I needed to have my own. I dated someone 20 when I was 25 and even that was like drastically different. Like being an adult, and paying bills, starting a career versus someone living at home and being a full-time student. It made a huge difference and even though we both eventually were on the same level. There was always something unbalanced in how we started. It's not the age gap, it's the mind gap. As a 29 years old I don't date unless people are 24 to 25 plus it's more so maturity gap in the phase in which most gals are in. 22 to 24 right out of college, not really settled down yet and still partying like they're in college etc and don't know what they want. I know not the same for everyone but that's the main reason. Hey 19. That's Retha Franklin. She don't remember the Queen of Soul. It's hard times befallen. The soul survivors. She thinks I'm crazy. But I'm just growing old. Hey 19. No we got nothing in common. No we can't talk at all. Steely Dan. So when I was 15 I started dating a 25 year old. I thought I was cool AF. I had a terrible mom who thought it was totally fine. She loved him, wanted me to marry him. I eventually broke up with him for whatever childish teenage reason. I'm 37 now. I have two kids, 17 and 19. I 100% would try very hard to not let it happen. I know now why that guy wanted to date me. He manipulated me, controlled me, controlled how I dressed, verbally and emotionally abused me, etc. No one his age put up with it. I was a vulnerable kid who was used to abuse at home and he took advantage of that. Huge age gaps like that with barely adult children are for one thing only. Control. My first boyfriend was 32. I was 19. We were together for three years. He fucked me up. He did the we're close, but I don't want a commitment. And I was like okay. He must really like me since he's so much older and wiser. This is what adults do. They don't commit to each other and everyone just always keep their options open. Plus I was so young and he told me that I wasn't ready to settle down. He said I was really smart for my age. All of his other girlfriends always went psycho and it was so nice that I was so young and wise and understands things that other girls don't. And he said he'd pay for my belly button piercing when I lost the weight. So generous. And I was a virgin and he said he always wanted to be someone's first. Such a fucking creep. How can a 30 yo and a 19 yo be at the same point in their life? The younger person should be wary of the kind of person who is in their 30s and is pursuing someone who is still in their teens. Why do they not want someone who is closer to their own age? Is there something that they do that someone who is a bit older would recognize as being a red flag? I have always been a fan of the old rule, half your age plus seven. Anything outside of that is a bit weird to me. That being said, I am being a bit hypocritical here. I dated a 32 yo woman when I was only 19. And the reason why I mentioned the above red flags to watch out for is because I missed a lot of them during that relationship. Personally I think it's weird. A 19 year old is basically fresh out of high school. Barely an adult mentally. 
a 30-year-old as a full-grown adult who is way older mentally and physically. Edit. Some of the comments seem to think the 19-year-old is the woman. That's not how it works. It's just a 19-year-old. Gender does not matter here. It could be a 19-year-old guy and a 30-year-old girl. Vice versa. Or anything. That shouldn't change anything. Met my ex-husband when I was barely 21 and he was 29. Married for 24 years. Most of them miserable for me. I guess the simple reason is that I grew up and changed. And he was already grown and stayed the same. We've since both moved on to much more compatible partners. But he still says. I never should have married someone so young. Quote. Define dating. Going on a date or two. Casual consensual fun? Sure. Go for it. Make sure both of you enjoy the heck out of it. Attempt at a long-term relationship? Iffy. Very iffy. Possible it works out but unlikely. First challenge. Both parties have to come to terms that the other will age. The older person likely is into young people. Whether it's their looks, energy, or something or other. Which can shake up to end up anywhere from, my. Insert attractive young quality. Stays like this for a long time, to, chchch changes. The older person has to be willing to make. Sacrifices to not rob someone of their youth. The younger person has to learn to accept the older person will likely die first and may have to. Make sacrifices to make the relationship work. They also have to be emotionally mature and shit. Second challenge. You will be judged. Fairly or unfairly. Friends and family will judge for a decade or so. Strangers will judge for as long as the age difference looks jarring. You gotta both be able to deal with it. Third challenge. Aligning the goals. Sometimes it works out that both people have similar short and long-term goals. I'd bargain that's pretty rare. If you don't fulfill yourself in life, you can't fulfill a partner and you will resent them eventually. You will also stunt your emotional growth. Fourth challenge. Respect. You're at different stages in life. The experience imbalance is real. Getting snarky, disrespectful or whatever about someone else's perspective is not love. It's a power trip, condescension, and supreme lack of empathy. Don't be that person. My hubby and I are 15 years apart. If I'd met him a few years earlier than I did I don't think I would have appreciated the things that I eventually found very attractive about him. Not to say it couldn't have worked out but life experience definitely makes you pick your battles with more discernment, which makes for a better and more mature relationship emo. Gosh I had a really old man hit on me today. He looked older than my father-in-law. I mean it's 30 and 19 is only 11 year ago boot 19 is just too young. 30 seems to be an age where you settle down and start looking into marriage. Depends on the personal priorities I suppose. If they have same views. Get along etc. Not being manipulated is the main thing. I'm a 30 year old. And I wouldn't trust another 30 year old who would want to date a 19 year old because it is. Doubtful there are good motives. I'm sure there is some variation from person to person. But in general, I think back to when I was 19. And all the people who were around me when I was 19. And the thought of a romantic relationship with them at this point in my life makes me want to pull. My hair out. No beef to 19 year olds just in general expect when you get older to look back and refer to your. 20s the exact same as you refer to your teens now. When we were 18, my ex left me for a 36-year-old. There's definitely a point where you have to stop saying, age is just a number, and you must realize that both people are fucked in the head in their own way. 18 is a minimum not a goal. 
Michael Wendler, is that you? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.